Curious how everyone is making animated GIFs? It's a lot easier than you think. I'm Subi Zimmerman and today I'm going to show you how to make a GIF using one of my favorite graphic tools, Canva. Instagram videos are dominating social media with millions created and shared every single day. One type of video content that has become increasingly popular are GIFs, graphic interchange formats. It's basically file images that move. Now, full disclosure, Christina on my team is a graphic designer and she makes these amazing GIFs and graphics for my business. But sometimes graphic designers aren't always in the budget or available. No worries because there are a ton of free or low cost apps out there to help you create engaging, fun gifts. And today I'm going to show you one of those design platforms, Canva, and how in just a few minutes you can easily create high quality gifts just like this. For those of you who don't know, Canva is an online design platform that allows you to quickly and easily create a variety of social media graphics, just like all these awesome ones that you're looking at on their Instagram feed. With over 10 million active users, it is quickly becoming the go-to platform for brands and businesses on Instagram. While Canva does offer a free subscription, you will need to have a Canva for Work account, which is a reasonable monthly subscription. Right now, Canva gifts are in the testing phase, but should be rolling out to a wider audience very soon. All right, after you log into your Canva account, you're gonna to wanna to click on the social media post that you wanna make, and we're gonna click right here on the Instagram post. And then you're gonna to wanna to upload your image to create the GIF. So I'm tapping on upload, and I'm gonna grab an image that's right on my computer. I'm gonna open this up. Once the image is uploaded, you can just drag it right in to the space and drag the corners so that it fits in to the square. And then move it to however you want it cropped. So since you're creating a GIF, your graphic needs to be multi-layered and you need to add text and a color block. So we're gonna tap on elements right here and we're gonna tap on shapes and here are all the different shapes. I am gonna click on this one that's free. I'm gonna resize it so it fits right in the middle of my dress. Notice the two colors that popped up on the left up here. I'm going to change the colors so they're more on point with my branding. I'm going to have the green in the middle and the outline be purple. So Ninja Tip here, all these colors that are in the primary are our brand colors that we have our hex colors for and we know what numbers they are so we we have them here stored so that we can easily access them. So you can add your color palette at any time and put in your code. And that's exactly what we did. All right, so now we have the shape, we have the colors, and we want to add text. And as you can see, there's a lot of different options here. I'm just gonna tap on the one that you can read really well. And I want this to be white, not black. So I'm gonna tap on the color wheel, tap on the plus sign, and get to white. Let's see if that's the white. Yes, here we are. Okay, so I'm gonna write, I have a surprise for you, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so we need to just position this and resize it a little bit. And I'm just selecting all the text. And if you go up here, you can see the font size. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. I think 40 will work. Select all the text and maybe we'll go to 36. There we go. Okay. And you can position that so it's centered. All right. So after you do that, you want to click on download and select the file type and then choose animated GIF movie. So here's the download button and we're going to select the file type by pulling down right here 
and here's the animated GIF movie. And then we're gonna download it. Okay, so now that we have this up, we have options, the animation style. So you can play around here and figure out which one is your favorite. <laughs> that one made me a little dizzy. I like this block one. And there's the 3D and then there's the fade. So I'm gonna choose the block one and then I'm just gonna download it as a GIF and it's that easy. Once it's downloaded, I can upload it to Instagram and share it as a GIF. So with Canva, you can easily create fun and engaging GIFs. The best part is that it doesn't have to take too much time and it's a smart way to incorporate more video into your feed. Okay, now I'm taking it into my phone because the last step you need to do before you can share your GIF on Instagram is to convert it to a video file. Now there's a ton of apps out there to convert GIF files, but right now I'm gonna use GIF Lab. It does cost $2.99, but it's recommended by Mashable and looks like the most professional app. And I did look at a lot of different ones. Okay, so now you wanna tap on GIF to Instagram right here on the bottom. And when you do, you wanna select the GIF from your camera roll. A little pro tip for you is that I do save all of my GIFs and videos in Dropbox so that they're easy to find and organized. Once you do this, you wanna adjust the playback speed and you wanna make sure that it is at least three seconds long or Instagram won't allow it to load. Once you've done that, just tap to save and share on Instagram. Instagram's gonna open up, the GIF's gonna upload, and you're all set. Did you like this video? I think you loved it. Go ahead and hit thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what you think of using Canva to create your custom GIF. And be sure to grab my free Instagram strategy guide. That link is waiting for you right below this video. And I'll see you next time.